what's going on you guys how y'all doing today so we are back with another video i know it's been a little while but i'm gonna explain everything today but right now we are taking the r7 to the shop and i'll also tell you guys about what i'm getting done and the reason for it but man it feels good being back on this thing i haven't ridden in eight days i think now and that's because last week one of my um, one of you guys a subscriber and who also follows my pages reached out to me because he heard i was talking about selling it and asked if i would sell it to him and so i knew he was serious i was like yeah man i'm fine holding it for you if you want to give me a deposit And he did, he sent me over a deposit, so I of course don't want to ride it because it's basically not my bike anymore in my head. So I haven't been riding this thing at all, it's just been sitting in the garage. Uh, but I am taking it to the shop because, because since I'm selling a bike to someone, you guys know that these things are these things are very dangerous, but they're really fun, so. I just want to make sure everything's perfect on this bike and I don't want the next owner to have to deal with any sort of maintenance. Oh, this needs to get replaced. This is broken. These tires are low. This fluid's dirty. Like I don't want to have to deal with anything. So I've kept this bike in pretty perfect condition and I actually mean that. Not like a lot of these other listings you'll see, but I've kept this bike in really, really, really good condition. So. I just want to take it over to the shop, have them tighten and clean the chain, and look over everything. Which I've tightened and cleaned the chain all the time previously, but since it's going to someone else, I'd rather just have it done by a professional just for my own peace of mind. I don't want anybody getting hurt on this thing for any sort of reason or to have any sort of issues. So. That's why I'm taking it to the shop, have them once over everything, basically do like a pre-purchase inspection. And if anything needs to be replaced, touched up, um, anything at all, I'll of course go ahead and pay for it, but I think everything should be pretty good. So we will see what they say. Just wanna make sure I'm recording. It's gonna be one of the last few times of riding this thing, so I don't wanna miss any of the content. I was like, is she really about to go? Had me worried for a second. But yeah, so this thing will be gone pretty soon from the channel. Which is really sad to see it go, but I know one of you guys are going to be able to enjoy it so much and the guy who I'm selling it to said that he was looking for an intensity white one done up just like this so I'm happy he'll be happy as well. And like I just said, going to one of you guys makes it even better. And I know me taking it to a shop to have once everything over isn't probably needed despite some really good working order. but. I just tried to buy a bike last week and the listing on Facebook Marketplace said perfect condition, mint condition, needs nothing, spotless, clean title, never been dropped, never been crashed, everything. It said everything was completely perfect. I go to the guy's house. I check out the bike and I figured out that it was crashed, it was dropped, there were scratches on the, some of like the engine covers, there were scratches on the fairings, there were some missing bolts that even go in like brake lines, there was popped out pieces of fairing and trim, bike wasn't even washed missing random bolts just on the body like and missing some of the rear sets I was like bro what 
Just because I was like, okay, this thing's mint perfect. I'm expecting to literally just buy this thing same day. I show up and it's the complete opposite story. And it's like um, leaking a little bit of like oil up here. Like seals need to replace. Like I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, bro. So I do not want to put that experience on anybody. I want to make sure that this thing is as perfect as it can be. But yeah, I literally thought I would already had a bike. A new bike for you guys to show you. Come on, bro. I thought I would have literally already had a new bike to show you guys. Sorry, I'm just trying to get us the speed limit. Okay. I thought I would have had a new bike to show you guys as of last week, but that deal was not what it turned out to be at all. And I'm obviously not going to buy it because... It needs thousands, that, that thing needed thousands of dollars in work. Also, like, the rotors had, like, some rust on them, too, like, and I'm paying top dollar for that bike. It wasn't a cheap price at all. If it factored in the repair costs I'd have to do, sure, I'll buy it, take it to the shop, get everything touched up and fixed. But that dude was asking top dollar for a bike that needed a ton of repairs, and I'm good on that, man. I'm trying to be like so extra careful right now riding this thing I still remember at a rev match I thought I would have like stalled by now because it's been so long since I've ridden I know it's been eight days but hey that feels like forever I'm so happy being back on this thing. I miss this feeling, man. Nothing like it. Nothing like the feeling on two wheels. But man, it is getting hot right now. It's like, probably like 90 degrees. That's why I got my jacket wide open. Still wearing it but it's not zipped up because it is so hot right now. Been in the 90s like this whole week up here in uh, Northern Virginia. That's why I wish I didn't have to like wear the gear just so I could get a nice tan right now <laughs> in the sun. But the shop isn't too much further up the road. And I do want to apologize for the lack of content on YouTube recently. But I hope you guys understand why. And don't worry, once I have the new bike, I'll be pumping out content constantly and constantly so you'll never not have something to watch. Uh, we'll go straight, but there's always so much traffic up there. So let's go right. No need to go sit and stop and go traffic, especially while it's this hot out. I'll just take the little longer way. miss this so much can't wait to get another bike and I do want to thank you guys for watching my videos recently it's been a ton of support and I'm just so thankful I'm very 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 blessed to have all the support that you guys have been giving me and because of that I did just get approved for uh, monetization so that's really exciting because if I'm able to actually start making money from these videos and the ones I continue to put out, then I can get more content for you guys. Because all the money I make from social media, I'm just going to put it right back into the channel. I'm going to put it right back into buying new bikes. I'm going to put it right back into making some awesome videos and just investing way more in them. So, so if my channel continues to keep growing and doing better and starts generating a little bit of money, 
you guys will just continually see the video quality go up, everything. Because I'd love to have a bunch of bikes on the channel to show you guys every single day some whole different variety of content, a couple builds, maybe like a stretched build in the future just for some straight line racing, maybe a stunt build if I want to practice some wheelies and stuff along those lines. Um, uh, track build too. Like anything will be possible but I got to make it financially make sense and if these videos start funding that then it makes sense. So that's something I'm super excited about, super thankful about. So thank you guys so much for the support because so I'm so thankful to you guys because now I'm able to make money from something I'm passionate about and something I enjoy and I just want to figure out how to get back to you guys. So as of right now, I made like $9 so <laughs> that pays for a ticket of gas but I know it's just a start and I of course want to get back to you guys just, uh, a ton so, so I'll be doing some giveaways on my Instagram where I'll be buying you guys actually bike modifications of your choosing. Uh, so definitely go follow me over there and stay tuned. I'll be posting that up sometime soon. I don't want to give away too much, but I do want to make sure to give back to you guys because you guys do a ton for me. Oh my gosh. I'm sweating so much. I probably just lost 500 calories sitting at the stoplight. But you always got to wear your gear. I'd rather be sweating sweat than sweating blood, if that makes sense. If you know, you know. give you guys another sneak peek for you guys who watch my stuff on YouTube the shop where I'm gonna be buying my bike from and I'm just going to a shop because I'm just getting frustrated right now with these private party sales around me nothing's working out uh, the way I want it to so I'm going to a trusted dealer and they said they will be having the bike which I want to pick up coming in in the next two weeks so probably 9, 10, 11, 12 days from now, I will have that and I'll be able to show it to you guys. And that color is the color I was thinking of for the next bike and they're changing it to a bright red, like Ducati red basically. And another red light so I can sweat some more. Okay, bet. Thank you. There's like a massive hole over here, so let me not hit that. Yep, that is it. this thing it's so much fun it's such a good street bike <laughs> I think I just like choked on air <laughs> but I want to miss this thing so much man but I got a such a good offer I couldn't refuse so that's why I'm gonna be letting her go hope you understand. Yeah, I'm not making that light. But oh, 
will stop up here because I'm not stepping on that incline. No, thank you. Let me put on my turn signal because everybody's definitely going to be able to see that. That was sarcastic, by the way. I need to get some gas though when I pick this thing up again. Yeah, the shop's right up there. So, another minute to go. Or, knowing my luck with this light, probably sit here for five minutes. And imagine if I was on a Ducati right now. Those things, from what I've heard, run so hot. I would be dying right now with that thing. All right, please turn green. Please turn green. actually dump the clutch right in all these bikes. <laughs> that would be horrible. You would never see another video from me again. Alright. Oh. Let me breathe a little bit. And you do not fall. Look at all these bikes, man. Nice little lineup out here. Bunch more over here too. And what caught my eye right now is this 848. This thing's nice, man. The body on these always just piqued my attention so much. I really like it. It's something about them. Especially in that like matte black, I think they have, or that I've seen. But, all right, let me go ahead, drop this thing off, give them the keys, and I'll probably just make this a whole separate video from my ride home. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.